G'day folks, in my last video some rather unkind person from Far North Racing Channel asked if I could retest with 6061. There are three pieces of 6061 in my shed and amongst all that junk I know where each one of them is. So here we go, three eBay parting inserts turning facing and parting 6061 aluminium alloy from the previous video this is the polished insert for aluminium cutting 2011 aluminium alloy and you can see it's making chips and you'll see when we get to the clip of the 6061 it too makes chip and yes I do mean chip have a look at this. There you go, we're making one chip per cut. And I'm sure if it could work out how to do it, it would weld them together so that whatever you did, it was just one long chip. I'll shut up now and let you have a moment to listen to the horrible noises this is making. Here you can see the results of the chip breaker working its magic. This is how the ammeter behaved when I was cutting the 6061 with the polished insert from eBay. This is sped up two times just so that you don't die of boredom. I'm sure you get the gist of what's going on here. And that's the high reading that I took off a single frame. So you can see it's up at 7 amps. And this is the ammeter when the um, polished insert was dealing with 2011 alloy. And this is sped up because even I'm getting bored. And there's the high reading with the polished insert cutting 2011. Just a bit above 5 amps. Right, now this insert is the same physical sort of shape as the polished one. It's just it's not been polished, it's coated and it's intended for use in steel. I slowed this bit down so that you get a better opportunity to see the curvature of the chip so it doesn't uh, catch on the sides of the groove. I hope you're getting some idea now of why I don't use 6061. With the half horsepower I have available at the spindle of my CNC it just can't make chips break and I don't have flood coolant people who have lots of horsepower, flood coolant, they can deal with 6061 quite readily. But I don't bother. I just use 2011. It doesn't weld, it doesn't anodize, but it machines beautifully. This video is, I think, about the fourth time I've machined 6061. If you would like to leave a comment regarding how this should be done, by all means do. Um, I'm sure it might be of use to other people, but I really am not interested. I won't be dealing with 6061 again. So, so comments with a fix are really welcome, but I won't be doing it. And if you've made it this far, thank you for watching.